hi fam how are you all doing welcome back again to the channel it's intentional favor here and welcome to the start of this vlog um i remember in one of my vlogs i promised you guys that i will tell you guys a shop where you can get things at very affordable prices yeah and that's where i'm headed to as you guys can see i'm in the car so this shop let me just um use this at, at this time let me just tell you guys a little bit about the shop um things i know i've read from my research Search about this shop by the way shout out to you auntie nazo my priest wife yeah she was actually the one that introduced me to this shop like i said since last year yeah that was when she introduced me to the shop but i never did until this year and you guys can tell that the cost of living currently is not funny yeah even in the uk everything is actually going up you know sometimes it's subtle you know it's kind of subtle it's not really usually so obvious as we have it in some countries or some places but if if you are detailed about your shopping how much you get some things you realize that things are actually expensive now so a shop like this will actually help you by the way this is not a sponsored video nah this is just me telling you guys things that work for me things that help me and i just share it with you guys so you can actually check it out as well so the shop is actually called actually I think I use a lot of actually most times in my videos. <laughs> so the, the shop is called Company Shop. Yeah, Company. Company Shop. That's the name of the shop. And I think they have branches across the UK. I think they have two branches in Scotland, for instance. But they are not everywhere in UK. Okay. Um, I think maybe, um, I don't know if I can bring out their branches right now. Anyways, you can actually check if they have a branch near you. You can just, it's as simple as Googling Company Shop near me and see the nearest one to your location. Um, so for those in yorkshire south yorkshire specifically which um sheffield where i live is one of them this one is located in barnsley not barnsley barnsley is actually very close to sheffield okay yeah um from my house it's 70 minutes drive that tells you it's not inside 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 barnsley you get it. it's more like the how do i put it from m1 it's just a one of the junctions at m1 if you know m1 then there you have it it's not too far the exit from one junction then you just drive and you see it so it's located like what is it called um geography wise it's bansley it is very close to sheffield as well you know that sheffield and bansley they share boundaries yeah so let that not discourage you but you can just check it out and see how far it is from your place fun fact is that one of my friends when she watched my video as a matter of fact that same day i released that video she saw the video and heard when i mentioned that and she sure know that i don't cap okay <laughs> yeah so she called me i was asking me what's the name of the shop where is it i gave her the information how to register for the membership and as a matter of fact she just told me this morning that she got um the confirmation the email i got the last time of her of her registration yesterday today and she's going there today so i don't know if she has gone um anyway but i might meet her or whatever so i just told her about the shop and of course it's fascinating at this shop the long and short story of it is that uh, what you will get at your usual or regular grocery shop you get it at 50 percent discount or 50 percent cheaper now you might be wondering how is that even possible so how this company or this shop their company shop how the shop shop works is that so let's say let's use maybe asda or lidl or all of these gross popular grocery shops if they produce anything not just them or any shop at all if they produce anything in excess or they have excessive goods maybe they don't even have space to display them in their shelves or they feel like they are running out of time they might not be able to sell finish selling this before it expires more like excessive goods goods that they feel that there's no point displaying okay they just sell it to this shop this company this shop company shop takes it and then they sell it and that's why it's very cheap one of the things i read or uh, during my research is that some of their products when you go there i'm going to show you guys of course in this vlog when you go there you find out that some things don't even have label and of course you know that a, 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 any 
organization, if they are producing anything, there is a cost for producing label. You know, even when you get Apple, Apple is inside a bag that has the name of the this thing and so many things written on it. That costs something to produce, right? So they said that sometimes you get there that some of their products don't even have label, kind of. But of course, you know that you are in the UK. Best believe, you know, one thing that usually convinced me when I get some product that you may think, oh, this is is cheap and it's not good is that in the UK there is quality control or everything even restaurants they are rated their hygiene if they are not good they will shut them down so it's not like if they see everything there I'm sure anything they display there they will tell you that either this is the expiry day this is it and that's why you see some shops in the UK they don't sell things that are already expired yeah they will not sell it even if it's coming close to expiry they will even put it at a very discount price you get that kind of thing so i'm sure like this is not to discourage you oh no label that means it's not good we are in the uk if, if it's not good if they sell hazardous stuffs there <laughs> they'll they'll be closed down already you get it so they, that's actually what they explained why you know maybe wondering why their things are cheap but i'll leave you to do your own research and get convinced on your own i'm just telling you these are my findings and these uh, are some of the things i know about the shop that made me to say okay this is going to be my blog and you know you cannot get everything like if you want to get a, a certain item you can only get maximum of five because you can't finish everything so that other customers will have something to pick. They sell so many things. I'm going to show you guys. So sometimes you can see something like now, maybe 2024 now, you can see a product that maybe is expiring next year, January or February, something like that. These are things that maybe a company, they, uh, another shop, they have weighed it that they may actually run, like they will not finish this and then the next day that it will be expired or something. So they sell it to this shop and that's why their prices are very low. But anyways, I've not been there. Like I said, I've only done my research. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've only done my research, heard this or found out these things about the shop. And I'm going there right now to go and see for myself. I don't have a, a list. I don't even know. But whenever I see anything there, I'm going to show you guys around, show you the prices and leave you to decide whether or not you will go there. But depending on what I find out, I'll still come back and tell you guys and decide whether I'll be going there for my grocery shopping. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm just heading off now and I'll see you guys later. Even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Guys, I'm here So, um, I'm just going because I've not collected my membership card You definitely need that I just said I should get a photo ID um proof of my employment like pay slip i have digital copies of my pay slip on my phone i got my driving license here there's another thing they asked for i should have everything <laughs> so let's see how it goes Sorry. Yeah, I'm um, here to collect my membership card. Wow, she's so slow. And your name? Go, 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 Gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff saying Turn them to a game Take the best stuff saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past all the pain And you find the door Open it up And 
finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered no, man, I still go Go, go So far, I'm back, as you can see. Um, I just want to show you guys the things I got. Probably they will, this will put more context into some of the things I was trying to explain earlier on about this shop, okay? So that my friend I mentioned, I actually met her there. <laughs> it's so funny, um, but I met her there. So um, overall, I spent £25.76 there. I didn't actually have anything in mind I wanted to buy. I don't know so much about the shop, apart from the fact that I know that they sell things at um, discount price and they have produce from different places. You know, whenever I go to a place for the first time, I'm usually camera shy. So I was shy to vlog, but I think I got some clips here and there, which um, you guys might have seen already. So there, when you go there, um, you see different brands there. Tesco is there, Asda is there, Morrison's, Spa. Mention them. Tesco, all of them, you'll find them. Lido, you'll find all of those um, brands there. So that's actually the thing. So when you want to shop at this shop, so I've gone there. Mm -hmm, and I now have a clearer picture of what it's like. And that's why I'm actually, I just want to, you know, tell you guys what it's like so that you don't go there with maybe high hopes and then maybe get disappointed no that's not my goal there are things without doubt they are at reduced price um and that's because of you know maybe they produced in large quantities or they're about to expire okay um so they just go there and that's why they are cheap so i found out that if you want to do shopping for instance my friend was telling me that she had the list she's wanting to go shopping which was why she decided to just try out the shop but when she got there most of the things on her list she didn't see them there does that make sense so it's not a shop where you go just like tesco lido asda audi where you go and you find everything you need all your shopping list they are all there all your shopping items you find them there no this shop depends on what they have okay but i would say they have mostly everything but when you are shopping there you just have to be careful because some of the things there they are about to expire yeah and some of them maybe they're expiring tomorrow you just have to check the expiry date of course if it's um best before okay you can also get them and if it's stops like you know here Everything has expiry date, has best before onions and all. But you know, now when you get your onions, it depends on when. Yeah, I'm not here to lecture you on all of that. But that's what it's like. You just have to be careful about. So don't go there with high expectations or high hopes that you are going to get all your shopping list ticked off. No. When you go there, it depends. You can get some of the things on your shopping list. They have everything range of products, biscuits, snacks, meats meats um fruits and vegetables okay mo they have most vegetable fruits their apple is there pear is there and of course they are very very affordable they even have free products so by the time i got there i saw that there was uh, lettuce was free and of course free produce what do you expect that's finished already by the time i got there i think i've said um, enough so like i said i spent 25 pounds 76 so this brioche um bread you know the the bag or whatever they call it like the ones that you can cut and put stops inside yeah so this is four it's the long one i've actually not seen this kind of brioche the ones i usually see is half of it okay so i think this was i can't remember the price and it's expiring on the 25th today is the 6th of march that's when i'm filming this video so this one is expiring 25th okay this is something like that and I think it's it was cheap you get it's really really cheap that's and that's why i got it then crumpets this one is from morrison's the one from what's the name of this popular brand that does this crumpets that i get in asda and all of that my friend it was just remaining one she took that one so this one is from morrison's and this was 
40p mm -hmm. and it's expiring in two days time yeah so for instance my friend was like she can freeze it she took two so i think she's she freezes okay so it's just best before and it's expiring in two days time yeah the crumpets this is actually one of the major highlights of this shopping for me look at how big this bell pepper is guess how much for one 25p you heard me right so bell pepper 25p each this was the first thing i picked so i remember the price very well yeah 25p so i bought four which was one pound then i bought ginger nuts ginger nuts biscuit um two of it was for 50 50p yeah i remember the price of this one so two for 50p then i bought some um tangerines i can't remember how much this is but it was also um at a discount price same with the orange i think the orange was oh my gosh i didn't even look at what i got see one is already bad i didn't check this one is spot already yeah four large oranges i can't remember how much it is i also got avocado so i think the avocado they sold three for 60p if i'm not mistaken it was actually very um cheap okay just a whole lot there and um, maybe by people checking and pressing to make choice some of them are very very soft but you have a whole lot okay for you to pick from i just picked three okay and i got it for 60p i also got this roasted peanuts dry roasted peanuts it's from spa yeah it expires they just said march they just say best before end of march yeah end of march and this is beginning of march right i started munching on it even from there bro i don't like it i don't like it it's not the kind of peanut i don't know what they used to coat it how it's looking there i don't like it anyway my husband likes peanuts let's see if he will like this one since he loves peanuts a lot i also got this um what is it called this um gum this um, chewing gum then i bought some chicken breast so they have meat there too i got this chicken breast they expire um of course used by yeah used by 13th of march so in about a week's time i'm definitely going to use them um this week that's why i decided to buy them i also got chicken thai filet this one is from tesco yeah chicken thai filet yeah it expires 10th of march but like i said i'm gonna use them all very soon and the last but not the least is this i got serilac i think in one of uh, my videos someone asked me if i give my baby serilac no i don't give it that to him but even if i saw that question it's something i've started considering i want to introduce him to serilac okay yeah uh, of course my baby eats everything we eat to be honest yeah so i just want to also include this and i got this i saw it I actually got two yeah i got two of it and guess for how much four pounds 65 can you guys see the price here yeah? four pounds 65 they both sold for four pounds sixty-five. Sorry, lack. You know how much it is. I think this is nothing less than maybe nine, ten pounds thereabout. And in case you are wondering, of course, I checked the expiry date or best before date. This one runs out in September this year. We are in March, so it expires in April, May, June, July, August, September in six months. And I'm sure baby boy will finish it or. If he doesn't like it, then I can also give it out. So for me, this is the highlight of my shopping today. The fact that I got this Serilac for this price. It's not like this. The price I got for the two of them is actually what I could have gotten for one. And probably added extra. Because the two of, of them is like £9 something. Yeah, £9. Um, maybe £9.30. But if you go and buy this alone, I think it might be up to £10. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've not got it before. So that's the highlight of my shopping. And that um, will also help to tell you guys what this shop is like. So you can feel free to try it. I'm going to leave a link 
in the description box where you can actually register for the membership here yeah, the link to their membership okay or you can even google it it can tell you but i'm going to um you know leave that link in the description box so feel free to check it and you might be wondering their membership is absolutely free of charge yeah they gave me my card yeah i just went there like i told you guys you have to you know it's advisable do it before going there use the link register and when you go there they'll ask for an id card a photo id card also to confirm your address so i use my driving license it has my name it has my picture and it has my address on it and then i also um what is it called i also they also need proof of where you work so i showed them my pay slip and that was confirmed and they just printed out a card normal id card and gave it to me free of charge okay yeah it's free membership so you don't stand to lose anything okay for instance i went there i spent 25 pounds and i got all of these and i'm happy you get it so that's what this shop is like you may not like it it might not be for everybody and also check if they have a branch near your location depending on where you are watching me from and that's just it about that so guys i don't know if i should end this vlog like this video here i don't know but in case i don't see you in the next clip but if i do thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts about this shop and feel free share tips is there any shop you discovered somewhere somewhere you never can tell who you will help there is love in sharing okay thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment subscribe do all of those good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next one until then stay blessed remain intentional and take very good care of yourselves bye <music>